Flash it a flash, 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 flash. So here we are again at DC Fandom, and we have the Flash trailer 2022, and we're gonna take a look and react a little bit. I don't know what to make of this movie. I like, I have a couple things going for and against it. On the four side, I like Ezra Miller as the Flash, kinda. He's all right. I really like Andy Muschietti as a director. Ezra Miller can slap a bitch. He's pretty good at that, we've seen that. On the other hand, oh, plus we have, you know, a couple of Batmans. Okay with a couple of Batmans. On the other hand, we've got Supergirl. <laughs> and we'll get to that too. And then I want to know, again, why are all of these trailers so dark? I know. <laughs> I understand that Zack Snyder had his hand in it, but you don't have to like, keep going. And I know when they made, they remade the Justice League, it was terrible because they made it like Technicolored, but you guys got to get a little tonal consistency, but this much fog is it really necessary Wayne Manor has to have this much fog So the flash is going to Wayne Manor taking an uber apparently with Hmm, who is that? I don't know Suspect it's another flash. I do have a, I don't know if this would be a spoiler or if this is like a trick Is that the yellow flash? Hmm. I don't know might not be but we'll see. So the flash uh, goes up and flicks a switch. And then we see this is the beginning. This is the beginning of Flashpoint where Barry goes back and decides to save his mother. Or is it? I'm looking at this costume and I'm wondering, is that the yellow flash or reverse flash? You know, hard to say. I mean, it does. I, it's, I don't know what the costume's going to look like, but he does have yellow boots. And uh, obviously he's going, he's going back in time to see his mother because she's still alive. I'm sure he's, he scares her here because she doesn't think he's like, she's dead. Well, you know, he's like, mom, I haven't seen you. We, we've seen this. If you've watched other versions of the flash or the flashpoint or the flash show on CW, we've all seen this. So the thing uh, that's also interesting is, is, Keaton's narrating this, I guess, as Batman saying, like, you can go anywhere you want. Why do you want to go save this timeline? Like, what's the point? So, I know the Flash goes back in time to try to stop his mom from being murdered, but ultimately it undoes time and screws everything up. So we see here, I don't know who, I don't know, is that his mom? I don't know what's going on. Why is he holding this lady down? Spray paint like, is this the reverse Flash costume? I don't know. Confusion. We'll see, though. There's the ring that holds his suit, for those of you who don't know. I don't know. Could be the yellow. Maybe that's his time travel suit. Don't know. Not sure. Don't know. I mean, it's not, like, action-packed. I know it's in production, and it's not, like, super exciting or anything. This part was kind of cool because this, my friends... This is 100% Keaton in the Batman costume, <laughs> which is kind of cool, even though he's like 8 million years old. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to be Bruce Wayne or if he's going to be Thomas Wayne, like what's going on? So that's kind of fascinating. He's in the Batcave and, uh, you know, he, if, if he's going to be that old, because you think that the timelines are all running concurrent, he's probably going to be Thomas Wayne, but who knows? We'll wait and see. Hopefully that's, that's not really a spoiler. Y'all should know Flashpoint by now. This is a strange picture to me. Because here you have the main Flash, Ezra Miller, in the middle. And you have another Flash on your one hand. And then you have Supergirl. And if you get a look, like, I know we complained about the costume. It does not look any better here. She might as well as be another Flash. Like... What, like, why is her costume, like, this red color on top? Like, I don't know what's going on. How does he find Supergirl? He just stumbles into her. So, that's something. You got the logo. All right. I mean, it's cool. I like the Flash. I'm hoping it's going to be good. I don't know. I just, I just don't know. Because it's been, it's gone through a lot of rewrites. There's been a lot of controversy, just like all these movies have been going through. Cyborg was written out of it, in case you didn't know that, because 
the actor uh, Ray, whatever his name is, decided to pitch. You know, he, he's fighting with Warner Brothers. He'll never act for Warner Brothers again. Shame, real shame there. But this part I did think was was cool because if you're a real Batman, you got that's got to be the '89 Batmobile. It's got to be because this is the best Batmobile, right? I mean, the tumbler is cool. Don't get me wrong, but this. This has got to be the 89 Batmobile, the best Batmobile ever made. So, and he said, he says it too. He's like, holy sh because it's pretty fly. They don't show it though. That would be, ugh, that's exciting. So, uh, part of me is super excited. Part of me is like, ooh, don't get your hopes up because Supergirl, not so cool looking. Total, I don't know. And then the whole splintering of everything. What are they really going to show you? Like, I don't know what they're going to show you at this point. So just my two cents. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. I'll be trying to go through some more of these videos as I can. I know the Batman came out with a full length trailer. I'm not sure if it spoils so much. I don't know that I want to go through that one because I really don't want to ruin the movie for you guys. But uh, if you'd like to see it, comment below. Do you like this flash? Do you think Ezra Miller is good at slapping bitches? You tell me. Uh, I am the man you may know as Eve from Our Reviews Will Kill You. You can catch our full-length audio podcast anywhere, Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, always for free for you. We live stream it on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. Like, subscribe. If we have earned it, please subscribe. We could really use your support here. And from myself and all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, Thank you for watching. We love y'all. And I'm on to the next one.